I'm going to show you how to paper piece. First you start with a pattern. And I'm starting with this one. And the first thing I do is get my light table. So this is the piece we'll be creating. So take your pattern piece and flip it over so the print is facing down. I just get my glue stick, a lapel stick or an Elmer's glue stick works. You just draw a line on there and just draw inside the first section of your pattern and then place your fabric over that first section. Make sure that all the edges are covering your seam allowances. My pattern has a seam allowance included in it, so you just need your fabric to make it to the edge of that line. And then also make sure that your pattern extends past this, these sew lines um, by at least a quarter inch. Once you have that, then we'll start on this side. And I'll find my seam line through the fabric. And then I'll just draw a line. I'll take the piece that will go there and I just kind of put it over and make sure that's the piece I want to use. And then I'll fold the edge that I'll be sewing. Fold it over by a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch. This is if you are using, if you've used the cutting template. So when you have that, then just flip it over and you have that fold line. Now there, it's a bias, so you can stretch it. So you don't want to stretch it. You want to very carefully lay it down. Make sure, adjust it either, you know, along the sew edge. Place correctly so that you have a quarter inch over this next sew line and that it reaches the edges of your pattern. So then just kind of press it down so it adheres with the glue and then flip it over. And then your crease should be right on the sew line. So now we'll flip over the pattern this way. I'll start beyond the end of the line and then sew into the <coughs> seam allowance and that'll help secure my seam when I later sew over those lines. And I set my sewing machine stitch length to 1.5. here and then we'll flip it over and then fold down the paper right on that seam where you just sewed and then I'll take my ruler and I'll line up the quarter inch markings along the fold of the paper where my seam is. And I'll take my rotary cutter and I'm through. So now I have a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. Now what I'll do is I'll take it to my ironing board, I'll press it with the iron to set the seams, and then I fold it over, and then I'll press that to keep it flat. Alright, we're back. So now we'll move on to the next section. So I'll get my light table again and put it underneath so I can see my lines. I use my Sumer Elmer's school glue and draw a line on the outside of that seam line. I'll take my next piece of fabric. Make sure that's the right size. Just double check that it's the right size that you have to or oriented the right way. And fold over that sew line about a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch. And take that fold and place it right on that sew line. Making sure that your fabric covers everywhere that it needs to cover. And then just kind of secure. Flip over and now I'll sew it. So now I sewed that side. So we'll pull the paper back and lay it down. Line up your ruler markings at the quarter inch line with the fold in the paper. And trim that, and then I'll press it. All right, we are almost done. Just one more to go. So, bring back my light table. 
my next piece, make sure I have it oriented the right way, I feel like that way would be wrong. So orient it the right way and then fold over that allowance. That's something I figured out just the other day when I was doing the tutorial for the cutting templates and I've been using that technique and I love it. It's made it a lot easier line up my fabric. So I'll just sew along that line now. So I'll sew along this seam line. Here are all those pieces. To the side there. And my ironing table is right behind me so I don't even have to get up. I can just turn around and iron. Line it up with on the quarter inch mark and trim. So we've got nice seam allowance in there. And I'll press and iron that. And there, all my sections are pieced. And now we will trim it. So I'll flip it over. See, I have the seam allowance, and you can see this pattern border and then the seat added seam allowance. Here, I again, I always line up my quarter inch markings with the inside porter, uh, pattern border. If your scaling is just a little bit off when you print or maybe if you accidentally trim into the seam allowance, um, measuring your seam allowance when you trim your block just helps ensure that you true, have a true quarter inch seam allowance on your pattern. all the way around it. And then you have these little corners to be trimmed too. Those I line up with the outside of the pattern and I'll show you why I love these and how useful it is to have these trimmed off. So there's your finished segment which will then be combined with an outer section so then when you join You'll add these up like this, and you can see those little corners that I trimmed off now perfectly line up with the edge of my big pattern. So you have the corners that match, so there's no dog ears that you have to guess um, when it's centered or where to start. So that just makes it a lot easier and keeps it a lot more accurate when you join your pieces together. And there you go. That is how I pattern piece.